Hello. I want to pray shortly before I say anything here. Holy Spirit, lead everything what I say here. Keep here the protection of Jesus' blood over this video and over me and over everybody who watches this. And take this video to the right persons just at the right time. And give here your presence. And talk to us. And help us to receive what you what you want to speak. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So, uh, I felt that I need to share this message also in English. Uh, I was talking about this already in my Finnish video uh, a little while ago. And um, actually this message is connected to somebody else's message. Uh, I was listening to uh, one of uh, the videos of Yemi and she has this uh, uh, YouTube channel called prophetic record and i think it was a few days ago or something she uh, uh she published a, a video and she was talking there in that video about the voices that god is going to silence those torturing voices uh in head in a head and also god is going to take away that uh, like mental confusion and so on and uh, it was a it was a powerful message and uh, she also prayed in that video and when i was listening to that video uh, so then i uh, remembered uh, what uh, what god had told to me uh, it was a, a a different thing but actually then I noticed or realized that uh, that was uh, connected to this message. And uh, I remembered that uh, it was maybe one year ago or something. Uh, I don't know, but quite a long time ago. Uh, I was walking outside and then I suddenly saw a fox. And uh, the fox was... Uh, there it was staring me staring at me and it was carrying something in its mouth uh, so the fox had its prey in its mouth and he was staring at me and he was just standing there and i have seen uh, foxes many times in my life uh, but usually i see them just uh, crossing the road or running somewhere in the forest or or, or so on, but I, ha I had not seen uh, foxes with their preys before, not before that and not after that either. And when I saw this fox at that time, uh, uh, suddenly I got really furious in my spirit. I got really uh, like uh, uh, angry in my spirit because I felt that it was symbolic and it was exactly what the Satan was doing. And I felt also, I, I think God was talking to me in that moment, that it was somebody's situation, that Satan had caught somebody. Satan uh, had caught uh, somebody in its mouth and it was already holding somebody in its mouth and uh, a person was his prey and uh, so it, it looked really uh, terrible like uh, hopeless and so on so that it's not so it looks like it can look like it's it's dead already and so on but then I I, I, um, I started to pray in my mind against that so that uh, Satan has to release its prey it has to release its prey and so that god says saves that person whoever is there in satan's mouth and uh, so that god can also restore everything back to that person 
And this incident came into my mind when I was listening to this Yemis video. And uh, suddenly I realized kind of a God, uh, God uh, gave me this revelation that uh, it's the same thing, you know, that uh, when you have these tormenting voices in your head, when, when Satan is accusing you or, or causing uh, confusion and maybe sometimes you don't know if it's uh, God or, or Satan or who is talking to you or giving, giving instructions. And uh, I have also um, experienced this myself, so, so I know what I'm talking about. So, uh, and then uh, all those negative thoughts and uh, then, then if you uh, continue listening to those voices, then you get depressed and then you kind of uh, get stuck and then you can't move on anymore and you lose your hope and you lose your sight and your vision and, and kind of uh, uh, it feels like death. It's like death. And I, I, I also, of course, it is uh, one of uh, the targets of the enemy to cause us to get stuck or to stop or like, uh, like it feels like, like everything is dead around us or in our lives or that we feel ourselves like we are dead. And uh, then I, I realized that uh, those tormenting voices and so on it is just if uh, the fox had uh, its prey in its mouth, yes, as I already told you, but so that it's holding its prey like it's holding and uh, it uh, like uh, it's ho it's holding the prey's head, so that it's like uh, uh, the fox is holding. Uh, the prey, like carrying it from the head, like uh, so that its teeth, its sharp teeth, are like holding on uh, to the to the head of the prey, and uh, also kind of a uh, crushing the head and causing all that pain and suffering and and tormenting voices and whatever. So this was the point that God gave me. Uh, a few days ago, that uh, uh, when when Satan has its prey and when he when he is carrying its prey uh, from the head, like uh, his teeth are like here all over the head of the prey, uh, which is uh, our people as humans. So then we feel like uh, like. Uh, uh, those tormenting voices in in our minds and uh, and all that pressure and depression and whatever and uh, also uh, I I understood that when it is holding uh, its prey and carrying it uh, and and holding on to to the to the head of the prey so uh, the prey can't use its legs because it's just hanging there. So it's hopeless and, and the prey cannot do anything. Somebody has to save the prey or somebody has to take it away from the mouth of the fox or somebody has to uh, demand uh, uh, or uh, tell the fox to release its prey. And... Uh, I believe that Jesus is doing that, or God is doing that. He can tell the enemy to release its prey. He can tell the enemy to release its prey, so that the prey is going to get free, and then God is going to restore everything back to to that person so that it is like it would have never been there like it would have never been caught 
And now I, I feel that I have to pray this now, right now. If you are right now that person, uh, maybe you have been under attack of the Satan and those attacks have uh, come uh, into your mind and it has uh, kept you, the a Satan has kept you uh, kind of as a captive of those uh, maybe intrus intrusive thoughts or negative thoughts or uh, tormenting thoughts or su suicidal thoughts or thoughts of death or uh, anger or revenge or whatever, you know. Uh, so uh, I guess it's now, it's really important we can now pray together here and you can also like uh, join me right now and we can pray uh, for for this right now. And uh, okay, so uh, let's pray. Holy Spirit, lead everything what I say here. Give me, a, give me all the right words in Jesus' name. And, and Holy Spirit uh, and, and God, I ask you to uh, forgive our sins and uh, forgive everything what we have done wrong or what we have not done that, that you have told us to do. And give here the protection of Jesus' blood and wash us with the blood of Jesus right now in Jesus' name. Treselectal erbatites en notres artes. Que la la honda siento oferta sientes a la cuando se no neshahar. Give me all the right words, Holy Spirit, what you want me to pray right now here in Jesus' name. I say to you, I say to you, the fox or the enemy, you have to release your prey. You have to release your prey right now in Jesus' name. You have to release this prey right now because Jesus paid the price already. Jesus paid for this. We don't have to pay for this because Jesus already paid for this. Jesus already died for this. So, release this prisoner. Release this prey right now in Jesus' name. Cor Alejandre Sendor le cantianta Sendor. Cor ascender que push. Le tropa cinder a cor. Share. Cor. Tremasiantos, you have to release it. You have to release it. You have no right to keep it. You have no right to keep it in your mouth. It is not yours. This person doesn't belong to you. He or she doesn't belong to you. To you. Jesus has already bought this person to himself. Jesus has already bought him or her to himself. When, she, when he died on the cross. When he died on the cross. That was the payment. And it was full payment. This person... This prey is fully paid for. Everything is fully paid for because of Jesus. Not because of himself or herself, but because of Jesus. You have to release it. You have to release it. Open your mouth. You have to release it in Jesus' name. Core. Sertale conta sientes la jore de cante sientes. Cor. Car Alejandre Sandor le cantientos. I thank you, God, that you restore everything in this person's life now. I ask you to restore everything, all those marks of the enemy that you just like 
wipe them away and you heal this person in Jesus' name. And heal the mind of this person. And heal everything in his or her life right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, that this person, person he doesn't or she doesn't uh, uh, die, but he or she will live and tell about your great deeds. Kere Alejandra Sando, you have uh, uh, kind of uh, punished him or her, but you have not given this person to death as it is in the Bible. This is a Bible verse. I will not die, but I will live. And I will tell about the great deeds of God. God uh, punished me, but he didn't give me to the death. It's somehow like this in the Bible. I will not die, but I will live and tell about the great deeds of God. Kor lechadrezandor le de kianto ser chabashendor. Thank you, God, that you don't you you don't give this person to the death. You don't give him or her to the death. He or she will live and tell about this miracle of yours, God. Kerdeser hal trechomono shaha resa ne contasientes trachoma shendo rejamiento cerca besandor. Certes, certes, certes. So it was not your fault because you were in the mouth of uh, the enemy or of the fox that you couldn't do anything yourself. You couldn't use your legs or your hands. You couldn't use your, your body because you were just hanging there because uh, Satan had this grip from your mind, from your head. And it was crushing your head and your mind. And it was torturing you. But when you are now free, now you can move. You can move forward. You can even run forward. You can go fast forward. Brezele kante halhet arhes hor horat silkir ka hol. Strel, strel, strel. Krumen kortes dramoshes. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. Speak to everybody who is watching this. Speak uh, to them also in the private time. Speak directly to them and confirm everything to them. Pray, Lord, Abbastiandos. Let your will be done in, in, in everything. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, Adosh, Adosh, Adosh. I felt that this prayer was uh, important to do. So, uh, but of course, uh, remember to test everything. And uh, okay, yeah, I think this is all. Okay, may God bless you. And uh, let there be joy and freedom in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>